What's up guys? Just want to show you the small solar system I installed in my shed recently. And towards back the peak of the roof is a 60 watt solar panel. And it's a monocrystalline panel. And I believe it's going to be more than enough to power everything inside this building you're going to see here in a minute. But I have the solar cable hidden by a metal conduit pipe, which we'll probably have to get a little closer for you to see. And I got a paint of green so you know it hides the wires and you know I think it looks a whole lot better than black wires exposed running down your you know your roof. Plus it also you know protects it from the weather and stuff. But I have a light on outside now. This is a clear white LED bulb. And I think, you know, it only consumes 5 watts of power, which is great on a solar power system. Because you're always looking for something, you know, it's energy efficient that won't drain your battery too fast. And inside I have the same bulb. And right here in the corner is the system I have. And I'll try to describe things real quick to you, you know, the layout of it. But going off the roof, are the two black wires you run from my solar panel. And it runs directly right into this 20 amp Sun Saver charge controller, which you see is charging right now. And you can get by with a smaller charge controller and also an inverter, but it was something I had laying around, so I made use of it. But you can see right here, I got these two six gauge wires running right to this marine battery. I also got a 20 amp fuse in between it. And that's what, you know, charged my battery. And it's a 125 amp marine battery. And the two other wires you see run right from the marine battery to this inverter, which is basically converting your 12 volt, you know, energy from your battery to AC power like in your house. And just say if you want for just for lights in your building, you wouldn't need no inverter, which, you know, it'd save you probably another $100 or whatnot. But and you can see I got it plugged in right here and I got everything connected right in this box, my outlet. And I got my, my two way switch, which I, you know, just flip the switch, turn the outside light on and off or the same way inside, which is pretty convenient. And I have this little table here, and I got one outlet, which is more than enough for the shed. And I'm right now, I'm, I'm charging a portable drill battery. And I also got a, an AC drill here to give you an idea, you know. The, you can see, you know, it's more than enough power for that. But, you know, I don't think you're going to be doing, you know, just for smaller projects, you know, which you, it'd be pretty nice for that. But I, I don't think you're going to be doing, you know, any, any bigger projects. You'd probably have to use a generator or something, but... And also, which is pretty nice, you, you, you might not think of it, but I got a battery tender here, which is, you know, you say you've got an ATV or a guard tracker, and, and which you want to keep the battery, you know, charge up. And I think it only uses 2 watts of power, which, which you know, which is really good, and that's not going to drain your battery. And you're probably wondering, you know, price-wise on this system, and everything you see is, you know, minus the charge controller and an inverter, you're looking at around $300. And I believe you can get by with a smaller one, which will probably only run you around, you know, an extra hundred dollars. So I just say around four hundred dollars. And I don't think you know that's too bad if you want power in your building. But if you got any questions or anything, guys, just message me and I'll try to get back with you. And also, if you got any suggestions or helpful tips, that's always good too. And thanks for watching this video.